Hey Flower Letter friends and welcome to a new installment of Love Letters from Hanny. I have been missing <laughs> over the last couple months. Um, I didn't realize it would take me as long as it's taken me to recover from the holidays, but um, here I am and I have been thinking about you guys a lot over the last couple months and wanting to share some thoughts with you, but I just haven't gotten the time. So here I am making the time and um, I hope that what I have to share today will make your month or week or however long it takes me to do the next one of these better. So the last couple of months I've been watching a, uh, a YouTube video or channel on YouTube that has really just spoken to my soul and it's called The Fairy Cottage and it's by this sweet wonderful kindred spirit named Paola and she has just such great insights um, on each of her videos and I, I find them very soothing and very encouraging and um, and also they they just bring me a lot of peace and hope so I wanted to kind of just share with you some of the thoughts that I've had as I've been watching this channel off and on over the last couple of months and um, really just benefiting from this beautiful soul who's out there creating and I highly recommend that you check out her channel. I'll, I'll put a link to it down below so that you can benefit from her wisdom as well. But um, the thought that's been on my mind was inspired by an experience I had several years ago with one of my friends. And she, she called me something that at the time I didn't like very much. I, I felt a little bit I don't know if I want to say offended. I wasn't necessarily offended by it, but I was just kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't really think that that's who I am. But she called me a gentle soul. And I know that's pretty kind of a silly thing to get kind of like bent over, out of shape over. And I, I don't know that I would say that I went that far with it, but I try, it just never really sat with me well. And I, I thought, why do I feel like, sorry, that's a really loud motorcycle going by. <laughs> but I felt like, why, why does this bother me so much to be called a gentle soul? And I've thought a lot about it, especially over the last decade, because as I've gone through some very difficult health challenges and, you know, experienced the sort of chaos of the last five years in our world, I've thought more about this idea of being a gentle soul. And I've realized that it actually is who I am. And not only shouldn't I be kind of shouldn't I be ashamed of it? Because I was at the time, I kind of felt like, oh, I don't want to be a gentle soul. I want to be like a fierce warrior woman. I'm, I want to go out and blaze my trail in the world and, and make this really, you know, uh, vivacious stamp with, with uh, all the things I'm going to do. You know what I mean? And, um, and what I've come to realize over the last decade since this happened is that some of the most powerful impacts on the world have been made gently and persuasively and peacefully. And I've really learned to embrace that part of myself, as, as I hope that you see in the flower letters, just the, the idea of flower letters in and of itself, I think is a very uh, somewhat gentle soul concept. And, and I do believe it speaks to a lot of gentle souls. I, I'm talking to all of you out there who I have had the extraordinary privilege of, of course, uh, receiving lovely notes from and comments from. And, and I just want you to know that they warm my heart so much and they really make what Mike and I are doing with the flower letters so worthwhile. Um, and I just wanted to speak to you gentle souls, you kindred spirits out there, uh, particularly in this video, because I just, wanted you to know how very desperately needed you are in the world right now. Um, there's so much, as you all have seen in the news and in the political environment and, and all of the things going on in the world, there's so much divisiveness, there's so much contention, there's so much anger. And I feel like gentle souls were put on this earth to help com com combat that, to help bring balance to um, what would otherwise be a very just difficult place to live and to be involved in and I feel like as gentle souls it's our gift and our um, opportunity to bring peace and to bring 
hope and and to bring unity back into the this this environment and most of the time that's going to be done in gentle nurturing quiet ways and i just feel like that idea of being a gentle soul right now in a, such a fierce and contentious world is such a hopeful idea and i wanted to tell you about a couple of books um, that have really helped me to embrace that part of myself because i don't know if you have found this but it's really hard to as a gentle soul to stay hopeful and to stay positive and to keep on um, contributing maybe not contributing but feeling like your contribution is making a difference in 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 the world right now and um, I wanted to recommend some books you don't have to read them I listen to them because I don't have time to sit down and actually read things other than the flower letters that I'm writing so <laughs> so audible is great um, but I I there's two of them that I really love one of them is called um, the highly sensitive person and the other one is called quiet and I've listened to both of those and they have really helped me to one appreciate that part of myself but also to see how beneficial and how needed gentle souls are in in balancing the world and really helping to um, bring beauty and peace and quiet and and thoughtfulness and all of those wonderful things that are so important to gentle souls back into the world and so um, I love I loved both of those books I felt like they were really insightful into not only uh, the the valuableness of gentle souls but also how to care for a gentle soul so, because I don't know if, if you're like me, I have to be very careful about the things that I watch, the things that I read, the things that I listen to, the, the news. I have to be very careful about how much news I bring or allow into my life. I have to be careful about um, the people that I surround myself with, if they're very contentious people or if they um, don't have my best interest in mind or if they don't value the gentle side of me i have to be really careful about how much time i spend with them and this these two books really taught me that 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 um, this gentle side of us is it's necessary to that we protect it because it, it is such an important part of who we are and what the world needs right now and so if you are finding yourself feeling somewhat hopeless and and somewhat overwhelmed by the state of things in our world and and maybe maybe the things in your own life that are hard or are feeling too contentious or too overwhelming to deal with uh, because they are really weighing heavily on your soul um, i would just recommend taking a look at those books um, or taking a look at paola's channel i she just has some wonderful insights into being a gentle soul and how to care for that gentle soul and also how to make a difference with that gentle soul and so anyway i just wanted to leave that thought with you and i wanted to encourage those of you who are gentle souls i i kind of feel like all of you are because i feel like the flower letter sort of speaks to gentle souls because it is a quiet um sort of nurturing idea this this uh this story through letters and um and the always happy endings because <laughs> i need happy endings in my life as a gentle soul um, but anyway i just wanted to encourage you and to remind you that you are needed in the world today and that you are so valuable and that your contribution is important and that i hope that something that i might have said or going in and taking a look at paola's channel or reading some of these books or just really taking quiet time to appreciate and to uh, nurture the gentleness within inside you um, that that inspires you to do that and that through doing that you're able to shine your light a little brighter in the world today and to give that gentleness uh, that you have to give to a very contentious and and sad and sick world that 
that I feel there's so much hope for because there are gentle souls and and fierce warriors that fight for what is right and are, are more outward outward in their fighting for what is right but that you don't undervalue uh, a gentle fight and a gentle influence on the on the world and I just wanted to leave that with you and I want you to know how much I do think about you often and how much I care about you and Mike feels the same way I hope you sense that through the emails that he sends he's the one that writes those um, I am busy writing the letters so I don't have time to to um, get as involved in in the newsletters which is why I decided to do these because it's it's much easier and much faster and I'm able to still communicate uh, my feelings and my thoughts about you and about what we're doing to you. So I hope that um, you feel that, you feel that we care about you and that we are so thankful for you and so uh, blessed, we feel so blessed to be able to be a part of this community of so many gentle souls. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and that you take good care of yourself. And I just, wanted to leave that with you and I hope to see you again next time and so take care flower letter friends we'll see you later